Welcome back everyone to the Expansion Franchise. We have the entire Season 6 for you guys in this episode. You guys are going to kick this episode off with bringing back Max Stassi. Why not? Give me a reason why I shouldn't. I don't know. He needs a home. He's going to tell you why. He's an OG. Yeah, staring off into space. We have <laughs> Richard Cho on the mound today. This is just to give us our last and final look at the minor leagues as we plow through the upcoming seasons. A couple of these guys we're probably going to factor in with what we have left in the series. So we're starting off with a triple for Brad Guzman. Guy that you want to watch out for here. Next batter up is Chow Wong Chong. 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 Wong Yan Chong. Not Chow. <laughs> Wong and, Yong Chong. Yeah, that's a hitter I'm excited about. Doesn't have a lot of power. He does play first base DH. He's a contact only guy. Guzman, a young outfielder. And Lewis Bryant is somebody that I am... Wanting to get to the next level at some point in this series. Matt Denny, another guy. He has deep potential, but he's 19 years old and he's like 69, 68 overall. I'm so, noticing this with your minor league guys. A lot of the pitchers, their win-loss record is pretty bad. So this guy's 0-5, Lewis Bryant is. But he's pitching well here today. A little perfect, perfect here for Alvarez. And that's going to score another run there for Montgomery. It's 2 to nothing. Thinks that RBI knock. Let's see Lewis Bryant in the bottom of the fourth. 0-2 pitch here to DeVoe. Somehow makes that catch. That's a great play for a minor league outfielder. Yeah, I'll take it. Connor Lunn is a relief pitcher I'm excited about. Biscuits get the W as well, so a nice 2-0 win here early in this long video. So stick around. We do have MLB coming up, obviously. But, yes. Uh, yeah, I was interested. Lewis Bryant, five innings, one earned. Okay, I will take it. A couple strikeouts, one walk. So, I mean, he's not going to bring the flashy stuff, but he seems like he's going to be one of those dudes that pitches to contact and yeah. gets the defense working behind him and might be pretty solid. A couple of my player. draft busts in this game, Alden Norcross and Spencer Link, or Gordon Link. Can't even get his name right. But <laughs> All right, okay, going in AAA, starting off with my non-recording. We have a home run. Yeah, you with, forgot to hit the little red button on yeah, this. The, yeah, that's important. But Mel Cruz was on the hill today. And in the sixth inning, mowing some guys down. He's got facing Hopkins and gets the out to Polini. So we got six. One earned for out of Mel Cruz. He's going to go into the seventh. And we're going to start giving up hits. You know what's funny about this is that Max Stassi's behind the plate. So he's trying to get some major league experience there. To Mel Cruz, this is how you set up hitters. This is how you pitch to these guys. And Mel Cruz had a really great outing. Yeah, well, that's exactly why we brought Max Stassi in. Dwayne Underwood, going to ring him up. It's Montgomery, and then you got Max Wagner. Oh, over the head. Tristan Peters, get this in. Keep him straight. We have to protect Mel Cruz's ERA. It's not very good. Underwood gives up another hit. Same Ouch. area. And this one's going <laughs> to rattle and roll around. They gotta go for third. And they got to get the out. Come on, baby. Got to get that out. out. Got him on. They all come home. Wow. They all come home. All the little piggies come home. Three, <laughs> three run double. And then Max Stassi comes up in a pitch that when he was at the major leagues, he did a lot of damage with. But there, he's, he's losing a step there a little bit. All right. We've got Doug Tunick. Down by two. 2-0 two -oh pitch. Got a good one to hit. Just couldn't really do too much with it. That's out yeah. number two. Tunic is a guy I want up here, too. There's Ochoa going the other way. That one's going to drop in. There's kind of a weird battle going on at the future of third base between Tunic and Denny for the Buffalo Saucer. We got a strike out here. The eighth inning is over. Dan Berger has got some power. Huh. Strike it out. The cleanup guy. So, yeah, it's Paulini with a runner on. He's going to pop that one up. Not good contact there. I'm just going to say I'm not too impressed with anybody from Durham. Other Thanks. than... Uh, <laughs> actually, we have not drafted very well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not This is true. Anybody. Even Mel Cruz had a good outing, but you know he's his potential is limited. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it like that's putting it. Berger had the home run there. Cy Milton, though, four for four. Uh, that's probably my guy. Now, yeah, that was a, a signee out of the free agents, but... Guy, a uh, draft pick that didn't end up signing, and it went four for four today. So yeah. I like his contact. He's a middle infielder, can play third base as well. Mel Cruz at six point eight a year. <laughs> he needs you. 
but the, yeah, he's about the only guy that I'm interested in is uh, Cy Milton. All right, let's get out here to our minor league affiliate. We got the Jumbo Shrimp. We got Bryant Kendrick on the mound. He is one and two in seven starts, and his peripheral numbers are really good. His average numbers, his ERA, WHIP, strikeouts to walks. I like it. And then he's just gonna mow through a bunch of strikeouts here on Norfolk on yeah. the Tides. Hunter Renfro. You guys, remember from year one off season or year two off season? He was my big guy that I wanted. You get a big hit there. Going to left field. Seven speed. Got to throw it all the way in. Are we going to make the play? No. No chance. no chance. Very close, though. Very close. But Bryant Kendrick's offense, his, his teammates can't really come through for him. Here is Gonzalez in center field. Not going to be able to make the play. That should score that seven speed. Get it in, baby. Get it in. Hunter, throw what it. are we doing here? It took forever. If he had just found the baseball in his glove, I feel like we would have gotten that out. Hunter stops the ball from getting the outfield, but it doesn't matter. The run's going to score anyway, but it really would have been nice to get the out there. It's 2-0. Kendrick is still out on the mound, and then a little swinging bunt. We can't go to second, but Kyron Paris thought he could get the out there. Probably would have been smart. It's okay. You want to preserve the triple play. Use the momentum to get to first. Preserve yeah. the triple play. Go figure. <laughs> so another draft pick here, Chip Horn from, I think, Season 1. He gets involved in manual. No! We had it. We had it set up. We had it set up perfectly for the double play. You're not infield fly, infield fly? Yes, but it's going to fall anyway, and that's going to cost us here. Chip Horn's going to give up some runs. This is a, a disaster. It's a very disastrous inning, which keep in mind, okay, it's the bottom of the sixth inning, okay? Just keep that, keep that inning in mind for later in the video, okay? Sixth inning. We do get out number two. Chip Horn's still out there. There's just really no point in uh, getting anybody else up and going at this point. But Kyron Paris will get a base knock here, and we should have probably sent him home. But runs yeah. are at a premium here for us, apparently. So base is juiced. We got Tanner Allen coming up. Line drive out there to left field, and we will end up scoring this run here. It will be close. Thankfully, the throw was offline a little bit off from the plate. So we do score our first run of the game, but we'll go to the top of the ninth, and Pagero will ground out, and we decide to go home, be Mr. Aggressive out here, and that's not going to pay off. So, game over. Our minor league update did not go very well outside of Brian Kendrick's day. Five innings, seven strikeouts, no walks, four earned, and a lot of those were kind of tough luck, but our offense pretty much stalled out only two strikeouts so we were putting the ball in play but we were hitting it right at people and Brian Kendrick still continues to perform despite the four earned he had those seven K's his yeah. ERA is under two and a half Hunter Renfro had a double he had a double I wanted to follow Hunter Renfro see what he was doing so simming through May Oof, we're hot Orlando's looking good here 34 and 22 yes a couple big results are hot your hated rivals the Colorado Rockies you always play. You we always can, used to play the rack. We destroyed him. Wade, Wade Russell went crazy. His ERA is under four and a three eight six or a three six eight, I should say. Well, the Nationals are a disgrace. Yes, they are bad every year in this game. <laughs> you guys played pretty well too. You're here at thirty eight and twenty. You're currently tied with the Yankees for first place in the AL East, but twenty one hits today against them. Four runs to add salt to the wound. Four runs in the ninth inning. 15 runs scored. Your offense just went crazy, which I've come to expect from the Buffalo Saucers offense. This lineup is pretty crazy with the addition of Stephen Kwan. I think that might be your X factor. You get the 90 overalls. Alonzo, Sutton, James, Clayton. Those are like your big four. You get Kwan at the top of the order. That's just, that's just helping you big time. So standings update. You guys are in second place right now in the AL East and currently first place in the wild card by quite a a big margin there. Six games. Six wins, I should say. Sun Sox here. We're also up on the Mets by six games in the NLE. So we're, we don't have sights for a wild card. We want the division. That's what, that's what our goal is. You can't make it to a World Series a year before and not win your division. That, that's just a fluke yeah. at that point. All right, Stephen Kwan hitting 371 and a rise at 354. So our two big contact guys that we're really excited about this year are both leading the league. And you have Palazzo and Contreras up there as well. How is William Contreras doing this? 
He's got some skill, man. He's got some good contact against lefties, but man, the vision is just not there. It's just kind of kind of nuts. But AL home run leaders, no surprise here. You got Alonzo and James, and then we got twenty nine bombs for Contreras, with a Rosarena still doing well. From Mills going to go back to Cleveland where it all began, and he's still kind of doing From Mill things, hitting some home runs, looking pretty good out there. Batting average, we are first, which I guess I'm kind of surprised by because I thought your offense would be better than ours. You've got more runs scored, probably more home runs is what I'm thinking. Hits were first and second. Our offenses are going nuts. We don't have a lot of doubles, apparently. You're tied for third. Or we, what? You have more home runs than me. You have 27 total. I have more home runs than you. Wow. 144. That's probably because of Contreras. Yeah. And taking a look at the ERA, we are both kind of middle of the pack here, yeah. 14th and 15th, respectively. So Buffalo that, sitting at 51-34. We have a road game at Safeco. I mean, T-Mobile Park. Yeah, I can't say and Safeco anymore. we have on the hill, we are calling up Ellison. And for those Henry that Ellison. don't know Ellison that have been following. <laughs> he's a big lefty. He's, he's a Ellison. guy that's been in my AAA system, and I'm excited about him here. He's actually going to pitch both games for Buffalo today here in the midseason portion. Let's get this thing underway with a Stephen Kwan double, one of the league leaders. Here's Ricky Sutton going other way. This him. is against uh, George Kirby as well, so I'm happy to get on the board early and wreck his confidence. And Frank Mazzucato is your AL pitcher of the month. Go figure that. Out. Yes, yeah, that's uh, that's that's lore at this point in this series. That Frank <laughs> Mazzucato is just amazing. DeAndre Clayton deep drive here to left field, giving chase, jumping at the wall. That is gone. It's a home run for DeAndre Clayton, and you guys are up now three to nothing. Early going, and then you got again Henry Ellison, the 25 year old big left hander. He's got a nice little cushion here to go challenge some of the Seattle hitters. Yeah, making his major league debut. And he's going to fit a cutter in there against Margot, the leadoff guy, for the first strikeout. This guy that should be part of our system moving forward, for sure, I would imagine, in the coming years. And he is hot right now. He's ringing people up. Mowing up everybody in this lineup. Unbelievable. He's struck out everybody so far. Going up against Hassan Kim. Strike him out. Jeez, he's through two innings with multiple strikeouts. Looking pretty good. Top five, two down, first pitch, hacking. Petey Popfly, gone. Another home run for Buffalo. This is just what they do. They yeah, hit I'm, bombs. Yes, I'm happy. You know, Randall James, I'm excited about as well here coming up. He's going other way. Oh, my God. Dude, that looks like the home run derby animations. That will <laughs> sail over the wall. Oppo Taco for Randall James. Number 25. So it's kind of a race between him and Alonzo with our – Team leader in home runs. No way. Could be the league leader in home runs. No way. Stephen Kwan. <laughs> did that go? That went. <laughs> Stephen Kwan home run. That was off of Prelander Barola. So go figure. 6 nothing. Ellison's still out there. We are going for a complete game shutout. We got it. Wow. How's that for a debut? Henry I would say Ellison. that that's one that he's definitely going to remember. Even if he got the win, it's going to be something to remember. You got like nine strikeouts, I think the total was. Yeah. We'll see it in the box score here, but that's an incredible performance. We also had Cy Milton called up for today, but it was a low-impact kind of day for Cy Milton. Nice little over. <laughs> <laughs> he actually didn't get a hit, huh? No, no he did not. Three. He walked. Three. He walked. He got on got base. Walk. Hit a lot of home runs today. Yeah, James, Alonzo, Clayton, and Quan. So the, the usual suspects and then Quan. I like it. Didn't like expect that. Six hits allowed, nine Ks, and one walk. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. So we will do some Simmon. And I need you guys against the Phillies here. I need you. Okay? So it looks I like you, do. you scored won. two runs in the ninth. So it came back from a little deficit there to win it, walk it off. And only Ricky Pete Alonzo had a run. triple? In what world? <laughs> you, can't, he, you can't even get a double with I him. I can't even get doubles. You hit him off the wall and he can't <laughs> run. He's thrown out at second. Offense needs to pick it up here in this series. Eight earned runs. That's not bad. It's not yeah. terrible. But yeah, we're going for a sweep. So that would help you out in a big way. And we're bringing the machine back. Oh, you're going to call him the machine? Henry the Machine Ellison. You're going to give him the poo holes nickname? Is it trademarked? I don't know. Is it? All right. Top of one. Giorme. Let's throw him out. Let's get through the 10th inning of his career. 
spotless. Good job for our defense. Brady Singer. He's kind of evolved into one of the better pitchers in the league here in this year, 2028. Dude, I can't keep track. I know that I think 2029 is the next year. Yeah, so yes, I think we're I think we're in 28 here. But PD pop fly, PD ground ball. Yep. We'll score the run. One nothing in the early going, so I'm excited again. Ooh. Another strikeout. I'm feeling it, dude. Henry. Bases loaded. And he comes through with a big time strikeout. Salvador Perez. I, I haven't seen him do much with you in gameplay, but that's gonna change. Is this is a solo shot. What is going on with Buffalo? What? Are, how do you do this? I can't hit home runs like with this rate. All I do is just string hits together. Look at this. Deep drive for Alonzo. It's probably going to be a warning track to the deepest part. Home no, run. it's cleared. We got a home this run. This is ridiculous. Home run. I need myself a frown mill. I need frown mill back. Yeah, that's one of your biggest... Well, I mean, you lead the league in home run. Oh! Randall James. Oh, wait. 1-0 pitch. And Singer just leaves it right down the middle. It's my favorite. Boom. He's the hitting one. You don't have to move the cursor. He's yeah. There it goes. 5-3 win. Henry did get into some trouble in the mid-portion of this game. So his spotless record has been shattered. Six and a third, two earned runs. He's terrible. I'm cutting him <laughs> tomorrow. God, it's just... Short leash, man. Short leash. Bryson Stott had a big day. Triple home run. Need a couple more hits. Let's not talk about him. But 11 hits today. One walk. Ellison had five Ks. I thought that he played well for you. Yeah, not bad. Don't trash talk him. All right, Buffalo, we are looking maybe to compile a trade for Robert Hassel the third. He's a guy he's stranded in Washington. A bad team. We're going to give him a couple young pieces. He's essentially a triple-A backup outfielder in Washington. But he has 69 at-bats this year. He's going to be our backup outfielder. So Cy Milton, we're going to have to send him back down. I wanted to give him a little taste of the big leagues. Yeah, he had an option to use, so why not? Sixto, you're moving him down to triple-A. I'm just not too happy with Sixto. And Kiner Falefa, you know, he was, he was nursing a little something. Send him down to AAA for a week just to get side Milton the taste. But now IKF's back where he belongs. Alex Lane, another trade option here we're considering. He is the setup guy for Oakland, previously longtime closer for Detroit. Let's see if we can package a little uh, quad A package for Alex Lane to the getting, rebuilding athletics. You're getting rid of Trent DeVoe, man. Yeah, and we're going to have to send down Elroy McGowan for the time being. He's still super young. So we need to come up with another starter, and it's probably going to be Cusick or Woods Richardson. Why not DeGrom? You love he's, those old starting pitchers. Yeah, I mean, DeGrom, he's a retirement threat. And I want to keep Liberator in our bullpen, because I know I'm in the lefties. That's a mistake. <laughs> you have, I mean, Ellison. You could, I mean, even though he's a starter, you could, you could make up some excuse that he needs to go to, go to the bullpen. Yeah. But guys, take a look at this real quick. We we've talked about this at some length. Francisco Alvarez, he's trapped. Thirty five games. Okay. Ninety overall, a catcher. I, I'm sitting here thinking, like, yeah. do do we need to go after him? Do we need to save him? I was I was thinking about it because you know, hey. Alvarez is on my fantasy team. I it's love true. him. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. But the, I got no room for him. I just have no room for him. We got Palazzo and Contreras, and Contreras is having an MVP caliber season. So yeah. not in our cards. So we are going to stay quiet at the deadline. But we're Connor right. Saples yeah. Jr., I, you know, I kind of spoiled it by saying we're staying quiet. But I, I want to save him, too, because he's behind Jason Dominguez and some other young outfielders with the Royals. They traded for him from Pittsburgh, so that trade's not going to work. We'd have to give up a crap ton. Too much for you. Barb. So it got me thinking. We're not going to stay quiet at the deadline. Surprise. We're going to go after Barb EQ. He has been killing us with yes. the Rockies He's in gameplay. You. He's hurt you in the past. And I want to bring him aboard because I think that we can save him. Yeah, his career's been pretty spotty. You know, the, the career ERA is not very good. You know, but 
if he gets into the Sun Sox organization, he can figure it out. I mean, this year he's got a 6'5", 183. So it's the walks. Yeah, I it's mean. It's the walks. It's the the hits. It's everything. I mean, he's got to get that those strikeouts piled up here. But first batter of the game here against Philadelphia. So you get a double dip of Philly in this episode here, guys. But we do get a base hit there for Trey Turner. Next batter up is Brandon Marsh. He will pop up to Sandage at first. He'll make the play. So that's the first out in the career of Barb EQ for the oh, Sun no. Sox. But now you got Randy Rosarena in left field. will make the catch. I don't know if the wind was pushing it out or if it was keeping it in. Well, Either Harper, way. Harper's a tough guy to pitch to because he can hit it out. Anywhere, anywhere, yep. Alex Bregman is also a Philadelphia Philly. That will be a strikeout for Barb. It's his first one of his career for the Sun Sox. I love it. Now you'll get Andrew Painter, guys. I was thinking Brady Singer is going to make an appearance here today, but it is Andrew Painter, one of the best prospects in Philly's system. system. Currently. Yeah, currently, yep. He's not very good this season. No. 0-2 oh, pitch here to Pons. Force, Force Pip. Pip. Force Pip. <laughs> it's a great name, what by a, the way. What a name. I got like a pop, pop, pip. Bryson Stott had a great game against you guys. In the box score, triple home run. Not doing anything here. 0-2 pitch here to Marsh. Ground ball. Adamas in the hole. Off balance. Throw. Got him. So some good defense all around. Barb's been pitching good. He's been pitching the contact, and I like it. So bottom third, Ian Lewis is up. Ground ball. First baseman will take care of it. So again, Sun Sox can't give Barb any run support, but he will strike out Bryce Harper on an inside fastball. He's got some good velo to that fastball. Can hit 94, 95. He needs to work on a fourth pitch. Yeah, he does. The, the, the two slow pitches, the sweeping curve and the curveball, the 12-6er, it doesn't do too much. But Lewis starting at third base today. He'll make the play, and the fourth inning is like a over. Cutter. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Or sinker. Sinker would probably be pretty good. 0-2 pitch here to, from Wade Russell to Henry Davis, who's no longer a Pittsburgh Pirate. 1-2 pitch here to Trey Turner. He's going to get him, too. So Wade Russell comes on, does a job here in relief. Let's go top six. Another strikeout there for Wade. It's kind of like that flex starter, kind of like our extended starter, our sixth man. Bryce Harper, again, going to strike out. Another good piece of pitching there for Sun Sox pitchers. Here is Bregman. Is he actually going for two? Oh is he going for two? God, dude. Bowen Wright's just like, okay. <laughs> uh, I love when the ball comes in and you just set the glove down and you're like, which way are you going? Which way are you going? Mm -hmm. It's okay. an easy out. Look at Bowen Wright. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's just <laughs> playing catch out here. What are you doing here? Bottom eighth we go. Ground ball right past Forrest Pip. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> yeah, it's still nothing, nothing in the eighth inning. So yeah. Painter was still out there. And you chase him out finally. Get to the bullpen. See who they're bringing out. They have Jorge Lopez, 49 and two-thirds inning, and he's going up against Sandage. 10 of 33 against the Phillies this season, so I like the odds. I like our chances here. Deep drive to left. Not doing. Man, make it 10 for 34 for Sandage. How about Willie Adamas? That should land. Yes, it will. Base hit into the stands. Again, <laughs> You think we should raise the stands, the the, uh, <laughs> the walls out there? That would have been a run scored. So, but now our situation is ground rule double. It stops the run from coming home. So John Kenzie will draw the intentional walk, and it's up to Ian Lewis. Come on, deep drive to center, fly ball will be caught, but that will score the run. That will prove to be huge if we can hold on, if we can get this victory here. But we got runners on the corners. Let's see if we. Uh, yeah, well, we won't. I forgot how I edited that. <laughs> so we'll move it. We'll move on. It's a lot of a lot of content for one video. So Bautista, one of the NL oh, no. saves leaders, comes on and with nobody out, Brandon Marsh gets a base knock, leadoff hit. We need a double play ball. That's what we need. That's what we're gonna discuss here because we've got Harper coming up. One two to Bryce Harper. We're gonna go with the split finger fastball. He's gonna offer at it. Thought it was gonna be straight. And it dropped. Great pitch. You're Great giving pitch. up a home run. I sense it. Don't say that. I feel it. Don't say that. I feel the drama engine coming in. That's a six-inch break. Look at that. Look at that. Starts at your hips, and you're like, yep, fastball. Nope. No dice. You wouldn't even close to it. 
2-0 pitch. That's the double play we needed. Sandage over to Adamas. Adamas back to Sandage. That was an easy double play. Bautista will shut it down. The Sun Sox get a 1-0 victory. Pitching was dominant in this game by both sides. Offense, not so much. What was the breaking point? Willie Adamas. Yeah, you know, player of the game goes to Wade Russell. How about barbecue, man? He didn't do enough. I don't think he had enough strikeouts. <laughs> now let's see the totals here. You had one walk today. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to draw a walk. four, four, and four. You know, four started the game. I'm happy with that. All right, so we're simulating the draft as usual at this point in our series. And let's see some of the guys. You got Ira Grace. He's a good contact hitter, apparently. But yeah, we don't really, we can't show you the the guys because we got to sign them first. Okay, fair enough. But All Star voting. Let's take a look. We've got Contreras is the leading vote getter for catchers. You got Quan. You got Alonzo in there, and then Seiya Suzuki, a guy that we were thinking about acquiring in the free agent list. He's an All Star starter out there for. Houston in right field. All right, so we got two guys in our derby. You have Contreras. So I like my odds of winning. I have double the odds of beating you. <laughs> we'll see how that plays out for you. But we've also got, hey, look at, there's Nolan Gorman over there too, by the way. Interesting. And Seiya Suzuki. Two guys, yeah, that you're thinking about. I'm keeping my eye on. Jonathan India, kind of a random showing right there. Breakout season for that. Yeah. But uh, William Contreras is going to have to go up against him. you got James against Seiya Suzuki, and then Alonzo's on the other side over there. So India had 18 bombs. That's quite a bit that i got to catch him with. Contreras gets his first one. Second one's going to go to deep center field. So a nice little break in the action, guys. Figured we might show you this just to have a little fun with it. But we are down to 12 seconds left, and that one goes foul. You basically have one more swing for William Contreras, and that one is gone. So we tie it up in bonus time. We needed bonus time in order to do it, so we will go to a swing off. A little bit of drama engine right there. <laughs> India's got three home runs here as time expires, so that should be pretty simple for William Contreras here. In a minute, we should be able to hit three home runs. We should, okay? it's Nothing's a guarantee at this point. So we got our one. We got our no. one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, William. Come on, William. Deep drive to right field. That's gone. Okay, two. 35 seconds. That one's back, 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 back. Not gone. No. Contreras. Oh, okay. This what is, are we doing this here? This is drama engine. This is all drama engine. 16 seconds. Go. Got it. Now you got one swing. One swing left. That's not going to do it, is it? Nope. We're going to another swing left. Killer, man. You get three swings. India has gotten his three swings in, and he did not hit a single bomb. So all okay. we need is one. You got this. The job should be easy, and there it is. We do it on the first swing of the second. Swing off. They made you work for it. Yeah, they did. Good old MLB The Show drama engine. So William Contreras will advance. I think he's the major league home run leader. He's, he's up there. Yes, he's the one seed. Randall James with 27, batting 258. Wouldn't be surprised if he strikes out. <laughs> <laughs> they throw him sliders low and away. <laughs> Hit this. Feeling pretty good, though, off the bat here. Two for two. Goes 430 for the one. That's a line drive. That will get there. So Randall James, yeah, leave it down the middle. He's, he can take it opposite field. We're up to 14 now. Time winding, though. We're going to close with 15 home runs. That's a beatable number. Yeah, with four minutes on the clock, that is definitely beatable. So Seiya Suzuki hitting 349. Not only is he doing it with the power numbers, but the average, man, 349. That was a big miss. We could have had that guy to replace Frommel. That one stings, man. So Randall is in a little bit of a situation here because Seiya Suzuki's got one more swing left, and that one looks like it's not going to carry enough. Or is it? It is. Wow. Are you new to the drama? Are you, what is this? Are you new? Are you new here? Saya with 15. He ties Randall James. So let's go to the swing off. And we got another home run for James. Remember, you only get a minute in the swing off. And he's going to get up to three, I believe, is the final score here. So Saya Suzuki, can he hit three home runs in a minute? He's got a lot of time left. 19 seconds. You can get about two swings off. 
And that one's not going to go. Maybe even three swings. He could get three swings off here. That one's off the top of the wall, and it went over. It's drama engine. But it doesn't count. His final swing doesn't count either. Drama engine. So you go to a second swing off. Of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Randall James, that's not good. We can't, can't pull the balls foul, man. They're so juicy. You got to time it up right. We get one homer. Got to make this count. It's going opposite field. Does it have enough? It does. So now number two is the number to beat. Let's see if Suzuki can get there. First pitch. That's off the wall. Same thing. Off Maybe. the wall and out, too, back towards the field. The, the one that hit off the wall and in, that should, I feel like those just need to count. He did it again. He did it again. So it doesn't count for Suzuki, and Randall James will be your champion. So we got we got two guys advancing. Now we got to figure out what's going to happen here with Pete Alonso. Yeah, Vladimir Guerrero is a machine. Not looking forward to facing him if I can get through this first round. Pete Alonso, though, I feel good. You know what I feel good with Alonso? you got to tie them. You're going to go to another swing off. Gonna go to another swing off. Uh, yes, we will. Twenty to twenty. The time <laughs> Nolan Garman. It's just a coincidence. Drama engine. It's a coincidence. I don't believe it. I think it's drama. I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to be a believer. Yeah, Nolan Gorman. It's five. Five is the number to beat. That's gonna be that's a challenge. Last chance. No. Wow. We pulled the ball. That was a home run pitch waiting to happen. PD foul ball. And we blew it. 5-4, to four, though. Very dramatic finish. <laughs> Nolan Gorman will take on Vladimir Guerrero, and we will take on each other. So, really, it's a do or die for the user here against me and you. James got a lot of home runs right there, guys. 19. Actually, could get to 20. So, he, he gets to 20. That's, that's a big number to, to go catch. So, Contreras has his work cut out for him here. We'll see how I do. So, But, you know, 32 seconds left. Our energy's low. I got to hit six home runs in 20 seconds. It's just not going to happen. We need so. a bonus somehow, but you haven't even gotten on the board there. Nope. It's not going to happen, guys. So, Randall James, after 20 home runs, Contreras is going to hit 17. So, we just came in a little close. You want to think about maybe some swings you have back, some timing that you'd have back. Maybe we could have made a run, but... So James will advance to the finals, and he'll be taking on either Guerrero Jr. or Gorman. And we do simulate it. We'll take on Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So here we go. Guerrero Jr. Vladdy, 19 bombs, 18 seconds left. He's trying his darndest to get to that big 2-0. He's going to get there. 20 home runs. Make it 20 after the foul ball. So James, you hit 20 on Contreras. Now you got to hit 21 on Guerrero Jr. Can you do it? It'll be hard. It'll be hard. But we're yanking a lot of balls foul. Hitting a lot of them short. I think I have a prayer here with the bonus. Got to hit this one out, though. Not going to happen. Got to hit that one. No more line drives. Ugh. I think you have a timeout available, too. I think I panicked. I think I freaked out. I think you did too. Because <laughs> it's sitting right there. It's just call timeout. I don't know. It could have been a glitch. I thought I called timeout, but yeah, the, the lack of energy. Yeah, fans are going to rake me over the coals of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the drama engine wanted me to hit 20, and I, I could have gotten there if the, I played it correctly. The drama engine just kind of faded that into the bottom left hand corner and said, yeah, you can call a little timeout here. It's not totally like. Obvious. They they wanted to give it to me. I didn't take it. So that hurts. That hurts. Hey, call a timeout. We'll get you. We'll get you tied. We'll Vlad, get you yeah. Tied. So Vlad, Vlad wins the home run derby like his daddy did. Yeah. And he won it last year too. Right. In junior. Life, yeah. Junior. Yeah. All right. So Jimmy Lambert. I, I thought that this was an interesting story. You know. I mean, what what classifies him to be an all star other than the ERA, right? I mean, other than that. I don't really get it. Quality innings. <laughs> Matt Foster. I guess. I don't even know who Matt Foster is. Is that bad? Cleveland Dixon. You can tell that that's a creative guy, can't you? <laughs> Stephen Kwan is your leadoff man for the All-Star game. You've got Alonzo and anyone else. I think James, definitely, for sure. Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas, yep. So you got some All-Star representation. Let's... See what Lane Thomas has been doing here. A little, re little regression, but he's all right. 
27 bombs for James, of course, made it to the finals. And you wonder, is his swing going to get messed up? Kobe Mayo. 74. Th- I love these random guys that make the All-Star team. <laughs> They're interesting, right? All right, taking a look at the rotation for the NL side. You got Bellamy Bloodworth. That's a notable name for me. Uh, Felix Bautista, a lot of saves for the Sun Sox. Then Jorge Lopez. 70 a, overall closer. I love it. 35 years old, making an all-star game. I love that. Um, but Bautista, his numbers there on the screen, 27 saves. He's well on his way to meeting at least 40 saves, I would I would assume, by the end of the year. But that's your rotation. Let's get out, checking out the batting order here. Anybody for us, William Contreras, he's going to be catching here. Has not really caught a lot of games with the Sun Sox, more so a DH, but man, 31 bombs. Lloyd Hayden making the All Star team. He should be catching. I think he is a catcher. Contreras should yes. be the DH, but you know, unless uh, there's somebody better fit to handle that role. Bo Bichette. You don't want Bo Bichette in the field, apparently. Apparently, <laughs> Bobby Wood Jr. is not starting. Randy Rosarena is making the All Star game too. I like to see that. So we had some representation here. I was happy with it, but not as much as the Saucers. Corey Pringle, a guy that was just drafted, I think, in uh, year one, year two. But there's Lloyd Hayden. So he is the catcher, and he's a good hitting catcher. He's a good defensive catcher, solid. I I think that he probably should be the guy there. Another guy, 22 years old, David Palmero. So it's interesting, right? All right, all-star box score. Did our guys do anything? Anything at all? Contreras, one hit, one run. A Rosarena, a strikeout. And nothing else happening there on our offensive side. Any pitching? Bloodworth went an inning. Bautista gave one up. Ugh. I was hoping for a little bit better. You know, this is what happens with free agents. The free agents want to see yeah. this production. Two, Juan, Juan, two for three. Thomas, one for two. Alonzo, 0 oh for. Randall James, 0 oh for two. Pinch hitting. And a strikeout. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> so it was a little lackluster. Hey, look who you're playing. The Rockies. Don't and guess it. who's pitching? Barb. He's pitching because he wants some payback against yeah. his his former team. Lloyd Hayden and Rusty Perry in the lineup for Colorado Rockies. Two custom players here. Now, a Rosarena is going to head for third base here after he got on. So we're being super aggressive here, trying to give our boys some run support. William Contreras, I've been waiting for this. Perfect, perfect to the wall. That baby's gone. How many home runs is that? Got to be like 33 or something. Can I get a number here? 32. Hadn't hit a home run since the All-Star break. That's got to feel good. So 4 nothing here. Bottom two. Base hit with a man on third base. I believe that is Randy, uh, Randy Rosarena there with a the knock. But Brody Boatwright on third base. The 90 speed kind of gives it away there. Here's Barb tossing up that sweeping curve. Going to get a strikeout here. Next batter up is Nolan Jones. 0-2 pitch. Ball. But they're going to go for it. And Palazzo throws him out. This is why the Rockies aggressive there. This is why the Rockies are bad. This is why they're bad. They can't hit. They can't play defense. Bernabel, 1-2 pitch. He's going to go down with a 12-6 curveball. 1-2 pitch here to Amador. Fly ball deep center field. Boat right with the speed he's got it handled. And Barb has gone four scoreless. Let's go to the top of the fifth. Let's see if we can uh, keep them held scoreless here. Boat right. Got to get this thing in. You know that they're going for it. Little cutoff throw. Adamas over to third. Got him again. Dang. They are being so, they are wasting their base runners by really questionable decisions. And Boat right, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't you go. Don't you go. Another strikeout here for Barb. He's through five. Scoreless. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth inning. William Adamas, I love hitting with him. His, his numbers might not be that great, pretty mediocre, but, man, I love hitting with him. They're so predictable when they how they throw him. Off speed on the inside. Sometimes they go high fastball in, but a lot of times they go fastball high and out. But, man, I, I just rake with William Adamas. Here's bottom seventh. We're going for another home run. That is gone. Yes. I didn't know if they caught it or not. It was close. Sandy. Those short walls, man, those short walls. And you just punked the Rockies again. We did. We did. 7 0. 14 knocks compared to 4. Barb lowers that ERA by a lot. And he got another win. Player of the game, by the way. Six strikeouts with one walk. He seems to have found his groove here with us. 
Love it. That was uh, Victor Mesa Jr., I believe, on one of those throwouts. Former Buffalo Saucer, Victor Mesa Jr. <laughs> he can't seem to get, catch a break. I'm glad he's getting to play, but that's all I'm glad for. I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> Look at that ERA now. 5.79? I think he was like a 6.0 something. Yeah, it's, it's working its way down. All right, so now we are playing against each other. You are 60 and 41. We are 65 and 38. A lot of baseball here in year number six. I almost said year seven, too. I almost, like, cut you off in the, in the pause there. But we get Henry Ellison up against it. So, man, it has been a Henry Ellison show for the Saucers. And then we're going to check in with Rocco Giovatello Jr. Man, those, uh, those numbers, those ERA numbers, those... Uh, Whip numbers are pretty good, but we've got a little ball hit by Stephen Kwan yeah. here. Great start. Brody Boatwright with the diving catch. I don't make a lot of those in gameplay with the outfielders. A lot of infield dives I can do, but, man, that's the first play of the game. That's a way to set it up. Givatel is going to strike out Pete Alonso. I'm looking for a W on you guys. I need it. I need it so badly. All right, fly out to Lane Thomas. This is going off the wall. Oh, no, we got it. I was thinking it might have. Contreras hit that ball pretty hard. Ball's in the outfield. Giorme can't get to it. Runner on. Johnny Wilkerson. Kenzie Noel uh, sets up double play. Come on, McKnight. Good play. There Unassisted go. double play. You talk a lot of crap about McKnight, but he, he produced. I, I want to trade for McKnight from you. Might be in the works. Uh, Randall James. How in the world... Just track that sweeping curve, low and inside. Pull your hands in. You can't throw you at down. Every time I tell myself, like you, you can't not throw people low. You have to do it. But I gotta pick my spots against you. You love hitting the low pitch. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Getting all, more outs, Henry got, Ellison. Huh? That one's through. Quan's gotta feel that one throw it in. So top of four. You're starting to get to Ellison a little bit. I'm getting a little scared. This one's through the infield, and now... Yeah, but you got two outs. You got two outs. You just need one miss hit. That's all you need. 0-2 pitch here to John Kenzie, and then there it is. So, line drive. Well, I can't even say I miss hit it. I line drive it. Randall James is up. We're setting up low. This time you jam me. Little 12-6 curve. Not where I was expecting, but I like it because it's off the plate. Makes it tough to hit. 2-2 pitch. Oh, Clayton offered up the two-seam fastball, and Chimitello is going to wreck him. Go back to the bench, boy. But it's a foot it's, race. It's one nothing here still. Offense for the Sun Sox can't get anything going Alonzo here. Alonzo is so freaking slow. What's up with uh, John Carlo here? He's getting the start today. I didn't even notice. Yeah. DH. Jacob DeGrom checking in here. This kind of bothers me because he throws so fast. He's like 30 something. He's 38 plus years old and he pitches so fast. Yeah, he's got the goods. Gets the out here in the sixth inning. Let's see if we can survive this. It's going to be Sandage opposite way. Good inning of relief out of Jacob DeGrom. I'm happy. I'm not because we should have been able to hit that guy. So one-two pitch. Oh, a knuckleball. How do you like it? The I, RA, I don't. The R.A. Dickey days, if you guys remember that. Look at that. Ground ball here. Arias makes the play. Two outs in the bottom of the six. We need one more batter. Lane Thomas hits lefties really well. Sandage protects his... His zone. His area. Let's go top seven. Giorme. Off balance throw. Contreras will be safe. What a way to lay it out there, you catcher. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Johnny oh, Wilkerson. No. Quan took a bad angle at the ball. That's going to get down. Wilkerson goes for second, but should have kept him at first. You get the out at least, but you get a runner on third with one out. So now it's Noel. Ah, he's going to get it into the outfield. Well, two strikes, we were going for the K. Yeah, but with that speed, oh, we lucked out because that throws off a little bit, just a little bit, and that allowed the run to come home. If you had gotten that in the blue, maybe the green, I think Contreras is out. I think if you just make the right throw, I think he's out. But still top seven, 0-2 pitch to Willie. You can't throw him off speed, breaking ball inside. So now it's up to Enrico Palazzo in the top of the seventh inning. Can he come through with a big knock here against... Jacob DeGrom, who we may have left in too long. I mean, to pitch a second inning, I don't know. But he's got good stamina, so that's probably not the issue. But 
Just his age and his regression. It's just kind of ugly. But here's uh, Palazzo yes. going the other way. Get down right past Randall James all the way to the wall. We got to score. We got to score. Come on. Keep digging. Keep going. Two to one game. Orlando. Enrico Palazzo comes through. Now you have Jose Alvarado coming in the bottom seven. So we still got a decent chance here. You know, it's not over yet. But it hurts giving up the lead out of the bullpen. Randall James going to fish for that one. It gets through the infield. So we're on with the base runner. Yeah, you're kind of you're just kind of hovering in that low part of the zone, and uh, right right after I had the pitch selected, <sighs> tough tough call right there. I got a good piece of that, man. That give me a hit. I deserve a hit for that. You do. Thanks for admitting it. Here's <laughs> Salvador. He's gonna walk, oh, man. You're starting to like read me. That's what I was trying to get at. Like your PCI placement. You're starting to read like where I'm, I'm trying to pitch you. Even even then, right down the middle, but Blake McKnight strikes out. It's right down there. He can't put the ball in play. So it is up to Alex Lane to shut this down. Deep drive. A Rosa Reina. Is it gone? Is it going to be off the wall? It's off the wall. Randy's going to get at least get two. So one out, double. Alex Lane, his job is simple. You can't let him score again. That's all you need right now. Sandage. Ground ball. Clayton bobbles it, but that... Speed from Sanders. I think he should get the out. He does. All right, two outs here. Contreras offered at it, and they said he went. It's not been a very great game for Contreras here today, but we're still nursing that 2-1 lead here. So bottom eighth, Quan can't come through with two outs. Little jam shot there to third base. Sanders will take care of it. So up to Hobie Milner. You are, you're putting in Hobie Milner in the top of the ninth. High leverage situation. What is the thought process here from Kevin Cash? I believe in Hobie Milner. That's a double in the left field corner. Thought about going to third base, like just really challenging that. John Kenzie, hard hit ball. So we got an out. You do have an out. He got an out. But now Adamas. You're going to walk Adamas to get to who? Palazzo? Yeah. Palazzo. Bring it. He's two for three today. Fly ball to Thomas. I think we're going to try to score this run. We are. No, we are not. A little fake. A little fake out. I should have baited you a little bit more, man. So it's up to Brody Boat right now, guys. Top nine. Come on, Hobie. Against Hobie. No! Miller. Right down the middle. Quan. Oh, I thought he misplayed it again. But we are going to go home. We're going to stretch this thing into a two RBI double. Adamus comes home. Hobie. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hobie. I tried to prove a point. Oh, okay? that's a sick pitch. Because I pitched good with Hobie Milner in AAA. And this guy to my left criticized me mm -hmm. for wanting to pitch with him. And I wanted to prove him wrong. And it didn't work. So we lost. We lost. We might have won the game if we didn't put Hobie Milner in. Because if we get out of that inning, all of a sudden the confidence... The next frame, you feel a little bit better. Maybe you get some hits. Yeah, I, I still, I, I still beat the war drums there for fire Kevin Cash. <laughs> Constantly making these questionable decisions. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens in this one. Uh -huh. Going to back to Skillville Stadium. It's a day game. Stephen Kwan up to 351 right now. So even with not a ton of power, 956 OPS, pretty good. Taj Bradley's in today only got three pitch mix here so you were telling me you like pitchers with three pitches yeah i mean it, it just it, it's process of elimination at that point it really is so uh against the cpu you can get away with it but when you're usering it's kind of difficult i can start playing the game so if, uh, if it's not a heater it's got to be off speed and you can react to it is it change up is it a curveball what is it so, yeah, starting to read you a little bit. This base is juiced in the top of the first inning. A lot of traffic here for the Sun Sox. 1-2 pitch here. Curveball. That's a line drive into the gap. Quan actually makes this play really nicely into the gap there at the wall. But it will score a bunch of runs. Sandage clears the bases. 3 to nothing game. And Bradley's wondering, like, what do I have to do? Not top bad. two, Colos Not goes bad. deep. Not that. Anything but that. Oscar Colas has been one of those players for us that doesn't get a lot of playing time. I, I wish that I could give it to him, but I, he just doesn't perform when, when he's in. So he does hit a knock. 
You'll come back a little bit here off of Wade Russell. He gets the start today. 4-1 to one game now after a solo shot by Ricky Sutton. Steven Kwan up. Oh, oh God. You hit me. That's like... Yeah, he's starting, he's starting to hit some batters here. So 1-1 one, one pitch to Lane Thomas. And, of course, he just rakes against lefties. And that is going to allow you guys to come back big time here. 4-3 to three game with nobody out. Keep that in mind. Nobody out. we got to earn it now. 2-2 two, two to Pete Alonzo. He hits lefties pretty good. I'm scared, but I got the sinker across. Striking him out here. 1-1 one, one pitch to James. Ground ball. Base hit. Going to go home. Randy's got to come up firing. Maybe nope. you probably should have. Got to keep everybody there. This is a smart call. Matt Brash is going to come on for you. So we have bases loaded. Yeah, Do not a... hit into a double play. Colas. Hey, that's not. No. Get there. What is that? You're right there. That Get was the ball, man. Very bad. Get the ball. I'm stuck. Go I'm to third. Stuck. Go to third. Go to third. Go to third. Get the out. Oh, I gave you a free out because of my base running. Ineptitude. What are oh, you wow. doing? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. He's celebrating that play? Dude, go back to the minors. I don't. I, I know that you hit a home run and everything, but just get back to the minors. Wow. Man. So that's a terrible. <laughs> like, I just gave up three runs, but I got you. <laughs> that's an inning from hell. Yanni so, Torino is going to serve that one up to Randy, and that one's going to go over the wall. So this game's now tied. Torino's has been money for me, man. Dude, this is disappointing. Big hit Randy, man. Bottom of the sixth inning, a bunt. Jordan Hicks is in the game, by the way. Oh, what, don't what? touch it. It was rolling foul, man. You touched it prematurely. What a great call for the bunt. God. Like McKnight up the middle, it's a rocket. It literally ramped off of the pitcher's mound. That would have been a great diving play. I call those skippers. <laughs> we had a good old skipper over there. Oh, Avery Weems is going to get our backup outfielder, Robert Hassel the third. And now, Stephen Kwan chops one to first base. Going to get tagged dude, out. Dude, John Kenzie does some weird stuff, too. I was like, go to the bag. But no, he goes to the runner. Thomas is going to walk. Like, our bullpen has been taxed in this game. It, all because of Wade Russell couldn't get it done. So we got to go now to Yancy Almonte, and he has yet to figure it out. Oh, that's dropping. Because that's going to drop. And Colas, I mean, remember what I said to you guys in the minor league game? The sixth inning? Keep that inning number in mind. We have another inning from hell happening here. Bunch of runs coming to score. Ground ball, base hit. Randall James, I can't get you guys out. I don't know what to do. You're hitting, you're hitting pitches in the dirt. You're hitting pitches out of the zone. You're, you're tracking it perfectly. Let's get this one off the wall. Get it off the wall. It's off the wall. Nice. Bring him home. Believable. Bring him home. <laughs> Let's get a triple. We can't do anything. It is ten to five in the sixth inning, Ricky and it Sutton. doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. It's a run here, eleven to six. This is or eleven to five. This is my best inning against you ever in my life. Got a little bit lucky with some of the some of the breaks, but uh, I will take it I'm in an eleven to six victory for Buffalo. Mm -hmm. So we split the series in game play. So I'm happy about that. I will take it. He scored six runs on that sixth inning. So Clayton, two for four. Torinos, yeah, I mean, four innings, two earned, gets the win. Look at what happened in the third inning. It was like every three innings we just sucked. It's like every three innings. Third inning was bad too. Four inning, four runs, gave it up. Yeah, it was just a bad game. All in all, ten strikeouts for the Saucers, by the way. So that's like the only way we could get you out. If you were making contact, we were not. Making the play. Yeah. And we only hit one home run, which is unusual for us to string those kinds of runs together. So we split the series in late August, and you are sitting pretty good there, 75 wins. Isn't that funny? We lost 8 to nothing, and then we won 9 to nothing. Just like yeah, in, <laughs> in those two games, it's kind of funny. Let's, 17 knocks for Buffalo. Kwan went 4 for 5. 17 hits in this one. This uh, Scuba went the distance. Don't see so that often. every day. No. Giovatello got the loss here, five and two-thirds. Wade Russell got crushed again. He just can't pitch against you guys. I think that's the that's the narrative here. That one was a Woods-Richardson Liberator classic. We had Boatwright, <laughs> Sandage, and Carter. 
with the home runs for the Sun Sox. So we're still sitting pretty here with the NL East. And honestly, guys, with only a couple minutes left in the video, I think you can kind of get a feel that we're probably making the playoffs here. So there really isn't much gameplay to show you from this point forward. So we've got the East. You're trying to win that division, so we'll sim a little bit, see if you guys get close. Four games is kind of tough. To, is, is, it's not insurmountable, but, no, it's, but it's tough to... We're super safe in the wild card. It's going to take a collapse in September for us to, to blow it. So moving ahead, you kind of go about 500 there. Yeah, it's six and four-ish. But you do pull within the Yankees by a couple games, three and a half now. Got, got a couple wins mixed in there, but those losses are going to hurt. A I think. sweep against Baltimore, yeah. and they're trying to catch us for that first wild card. So we let them back into this thing, for Dude, sure. they are a thorn in everybody's side. Yeah. I don't love it. I Baltimore. Don't love it. But still well clear of the Guardians, so I'm feeling happy about that. And you've got 85 wins. Feeling pretty good there in the NL East as well, so let's sim ahead a little bit more. You're the more interesting team, so we'll focus on you. But with only a couple games left, let's get a let's get an update here on where you guys are at. So Baltimore overtakes you, but you've clinched the wild card. That is insane. What is up with that team? They <laughs> they gonna go on another World Series run? No, that's not, ridiculous. No. <laughs> but the Sun Sox have clinched. We are in, and we might as well just go ahead and sim because you guys are in as well. Would have been nice if you had finished above Baltimore but yeah I mean 92 wins that's I think that's the best in franchise history at this point for you guys and you guys got 91 yep so you win your division you're gonna host the Padres so MVP Pete Alonso comes in second to Devers in the American League and then go for Seiya had 42 bombs but look yeah. at Contreras what you got the MVP <laughs> William Contreras wins the MVP award 328, 49 home runs. Love it. What is that? Nice. Good signing. I will give you credit. So I would say so. Yeah, checking the bracket out here. We are going to be on the road to Baltimore thanks to that late season swoon and Baltimore charging. So that, that might play into what happens, but I we have to beat Baltimore. Absolutely. Baltimore. Absolutely. That That's like they're, they're your rival. Not only just intra-division, but the fact like, you were, you were in the ALCS last year. You could have made it to the, the World right. Series. The series, I think, is also operating as a fantasy for the Pittsburgh Pirates fan base. I think they would be so happy with how this series has gone. With O'Neill Cruz? Just how successful they've been. They look traded at, look at the Pirates, Cruz. number yep. two, and they still got they got so many players. The funny thing is, is O'Neill Cruz is playing for Baltimore. He's already got a championship. So it kind of gives you a glimpse into the future of how good he's going to be, right? But now with Pittsburgh, yeah, I mean, just to your point, that they're spending a bunch of money. They're yeah. spenders in this series. So, yeah, to be the two seed, it's good to see. Arizona, of course, with Bellamy Bloodworth, that's going to be a tough test. Whoever wins the L.A. and St. Louis series got to get them. But, yeah, Orlando, San Diego, looking forward to that one. I think we should probably be able to handle San Diego. But, again, in a, in a three-game series, you got to win two. You know, anything can happen at that point. So, guys, leave a like if you like this thing. That's it for this long video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the format. We've got a whole entire season's done. A um, lot of storylines at play here as we now move to the postseason. So, best of luck to the Saucers. Thanks. Not going to say it to me? No. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. I hope you lose in the first round. I hope Baltimore kicks your butt. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and peace.